Nigerian Attorney General of the Federation, Malam, Malami, Abdul, uh, Abu Bakar Malami, has replied the Canadian Justice Minister, Kelechi Madu, attacking him. Replied, he replied him saying, where were you when Namdi Kano was attacking Nigeria? Kelechi Madu, the Minister of Justice and Solicitor General of the Government of Alberta in Canada, has attacked Malami over the manner at which Namdi Kano, the leader of the indigenous people of Biafra, IPOP was arrested and extradited to Nigeria. Calling the Attorney General of the Federation a disgrace. He has shown himself to be a bigot who does not understand what it means to live in a pluralistic society governed by the dictates of the rule of law. Kelechi Madu stated in his message. In a rejoinder on Wednesday, Abu Bakar Malami called the Canadian state official ignoramus and eccentric adding that his views are weird to the legal profession. The Attorney General of the Federation said, it is unfortunate that Madu faulted the internationally recognized manner through which Namdekano, who jumped bail, was rearrested and brought back to face trial. It was abundantly clear that bench warrant was lawfully and judiciously procured through judicial process by a competent court of law, whose bail condition Namdekano breached with impunity. There was no illegality in the entire process, and the question of illegality does not even arise. It is a common principle of the law that he who comes to equity must come with clean hands. Malami said Namdekano has enjoyed representation by counsel of his choice and was never denied a right of choice of counsel or recourse to one, even when he symbolizes a proscribed association, IPOP. Where was the so-called Madu when Namdekano was inciting violence against the country? Why, as a lawyer, would Madu support a fugitive who jumped bail and accused of terrorism and treasonable felony. What stopped Madu from voicing out dissent on the atrocities of Namdekano and their group? The Attorney General of the Federation of Nigeria, Abu Bakar Malami, stated. All right, guys, this is another serious recourse. I stand to be corrected if I'm wrong, but um, does Abu Bakar Malami? stand to justify what the Nigerian military, the invasion of Namikano's home in September 2017, the question is why is he not even addressing it? He quoted a statement saying that the law says that he who must come to equity must come with clean hands. Is the Nigerian federal government actually coming to equity with clean hands based on the fact that why are they not addressing the issue of the invasion of Namdekano's home in September 2017? That is where the judgment should start from. If they are claiming that Namdekano jumped bail, the question is what led to his jumping of the bail? Why are they not addressing it? And I think that is where this issue should actually begin from. How come did Namdekano jump bail? Did he intentionally decide to jump bail? Was his life under threat or not? Was his home invaded or not? That is where the, this, the judgment should start from. Was his home invaded or not? Was there a military invasion in Namdekano's home where people killed? Was Namdekano's life under threat? These are questions that need to be answered by the Attorney General of the Federation, by the Nigerian military. If the Attorney General cannot uh, uh, defend or answer those questions, then the military should be brought to defend it. Because I'm sure there are picture evidences to back this up. And what do you expect? In the first place, if Namdekano had not been in that particular location, would there have been an invasion by the Nigerian military? Would there have been an invasion? Who were they looking for? 
and at the end of the day was the parents of Namdekano not eventually killed? According to Namdekano's lawyer, 28 people were said to have been killed in Namdekano's home. On what grounds? What led to the invasion of Namdekano's home by the Nigerian military? What were they doing there? What did they seek? These are serious allegations, serious issues that the Nigerian government needs to address. They need to come clean on these issues. I stand to be corrected if I'm wrong, but they need to come clean. They need to state what exactly they were doing in that particular place. And this falls within the jurisdiction of the Attorney General of the Federation. So he cannot claim that he is not aware or he does not know. So, stating what he's stating or what he's saying against the Canadian um, Minister of Justice in, of Alberta is actually out of point. It is sad and unfortunate. But uh, not looking at what uh, uh, Malame is saying, it, you cannot, you know, jump from one point to another or begin to or want to fake things from where you want to take them from. We need to address issues based on it. And if truly justice is to be served, then the judges who would sit on this case should do a thorough job and should ensure that a thorough job is done. And where blames are to be apportioned, it has to be apportioned and necessary justices needs to be given. I stand to be corrected if I'm wrong. But based on that, and I'm the canoes, ill health is also a thing to be considered in this issue. You don't, you know, treat people like that. If that is why Namde Kalu called the country a zoo. Because in a civilized world where rule of law is what the people play by, you know, the way and the treatment that was made to Namde Kalu would definitely not be made to him. The, 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 the way and manner at which he was treated would not be acceptable in a same country. We have seen cases, you know, in, the, in, in, in developed countries. The question is, why does our leader continue to paint a wrong image or a, a very bad image of this country to the international community? It bewilders my imagination why things have been done this way. But however, we keep our fingers crossed to see how things unfold. Please, guys, drop by at the comment section. Let us know what your thoughts are on this particular news story, as it were. Don't forget to subscribe to this channel if you are yet to subscribe. Please, kindly hit the bell icon so you can get notification whenever we post new stories. Endeavor to share these news stories with your friends, family, relations, and loved ones so they can get to know what is happening around the world and be informed. Thank you so much, guys. I appreciate your support, and I'll see you guys on the other news. Thank you, and bye for now.